TPS Serena, which is the only tourism uh, company listed in the stock exchange, reported first half earnings per share negative one shilling and nine cents. Sales largely static, 2.62 billion, down 1.295%. Um, they had a much bigger exchange loss on foreign, foreign currency loans. Um, loss before income tax was 230.786 million versus 74.156 million last time. Uh, the loss attributable to uh, a shareholder is one shilling and nine cents versus 43 cents. So it's double, a bit more than double. Um, and they said during the first half of 2017, the domestic and to some extent the foreign leisure tourism segment in East Africa witnessed a slow but encouraging growth at business levels compared to last year. There was satisfactory growth in the corporate segment. Current indications for the Kenyan safari segment look much healthier, particularly for Mara and Laikipia. Mara was very full. Kenyan coastal region continues to record low materialization. You know, I'm a bear about that. I don't think they've updated it, and I think they're really out of the game. Nairobi Serena has been operating only with 46% of its room inventory. They're upgrading it. The management looks at the second half with much optimism and with our tested and highly successful business model. So my conclusions are Mombasa is soft. Nairobi is being refer refurbished. They are spending some cash and they're just coming off a good election. On a net asset value basis, it's worth much more than the market cap of $49 million. I think uh, it's a buy. I put up a photograph of Nishat and Hannah riding along the lake shore at Lake Gelman Taita, where they have a lovely property. A photograph of the ocean at Mombasa Serena, where they were complaining that it's not doing that well. Um, it's a lovely property where I'm very, very uh, attached to it. Uh, I interviewed Mamu Jamam at a while back, but you know we were talking in general terms. It's interesting, I think, and relevant. I'll get back to him and try and get, get another interview. And then I wrote a piece once about the Serena. Let me read it to you. My memories of the Serena start in Mombasa years back when the managing director, Manu Jad Mohammed, was the manager. I was then a teenager and remember losing my heart to a girl who would beat me at table tennis in a bikini. That table tennis is still there. It's no longer there now. The Serena brand has always been sprinkled with the fairy dust. It reminds me of a happy, joyful, carefree Alison Daisy. That brand equity was appreciated last Thursday at the Grosvenor House, where the Serena Hotel is one of the best hospitality, travel, and tourism in Africa award, the African Business Awards.